is Marcel Duchamp, when he did the everyday object. Warhol, when he took the soup cans, represented it. Rambo. And Damien, sorry? Rambo and, da moments, and, then for, and Damien has and Murakami almost, yeah. for these in our age, well, in our age, we're like, which is like the media, the blogs, photography, fashion, art, and stuff, and almost, almost, almost. And not to put them there, but, and even Matthew Barney, even like, when you see Matthew Barney's posters, everywhere on the subway, mm -hmm. and like for a cinema in Guggenheim and stuff, but it hasn't been since that fracture. And it's very egotistical of me, and it's very, and I'm not saying I'm the, I'm the guy to do it, but I, since, since that time, we're, we really are at the first time in the age, the internet age, the YouTube age, so you see that as a kind of a breakthrough, really? A yeah. Breakthrough, yeah. No, it is. In the fashion age. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, fashion loves art right now. Like, if you look at every other magazine. Mm -hmm. And for me as well, like, I get photographed almost like every week. Oh, Hans, sorry, dude. I hope you don't think I'm like... That's all very exciting. Don't worry. It's it's really I feel terrible. Back. I never talked like this before. Any more questions now? One really? of the things I was always... Question me away. I like your shirt, Hans. Thanks. Don't you think, though, as a, can I ask you one quick question? Yeah, of course. Don't you think this is like a, a very, very exciting time? Yeah, I think The so. first time between I think it's a great the media, yeah. the fashion, and movies for Julian when he did his diving bell. Yeah. And no, I think it's also, you know, it's no longer necessary to decide because there used to be a moment you decide in the art world, in the film world, in the music world, in the literature world, in the, and it was sort of an either or modal, you yeah. know. Or, or isms. There was modernism, yeah. there was minimalism, postmodernism. And now it's like more, you know, it can be many things. Yeah, do you think we so do you think there's no more isms anymore? No, I think there's, I mean, it's a question I wanted to ask you anyhow, because there used to be these movements, like avant-garde movements, and still in the 60s, I mean, there was the avant-garde, and then there was the neo, neo avant-garde. Mm -hmm. And, oh. <gasps> no, that's okay. Behind my. There was the neo avant garde, and already with the neo avant garde, it was less, you know, it was more like a strategy, maybe the movement, but if you look at metabolism, or, but still with fluxus, you had, you know, manifestos and all this. But in our time, much less manifestos happen and movements, and do you see yourself as a trigger of a movement? Or? No, because I think, I don't think there's any movements anymore. No, no, actually, no, 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 there isn't. I actually see myself with my, as, as my first generation, and I see my generation as like Urs Fischer, thanks for that, yeah. and like these people, and like this, and Urs Fischer, thanks for that, who else is there? And like these people, and it's like, it's not, it's like there hasn't been, the last movement was like post-minimalism. Yeah. Don't you think? I think. It used to be minimalism. Art, art ever since, there was like, um, there was like, um, I don't know, like pointillism, like in like Marxism. Even for fluxus, there was like fluxism. Even it was like anti-movement itself. It was like this thing itself. But I've thought about it very, and it's really, really exciting for me. And it's like I really think this is a movement. But it's like the movement that for the first time that can be like classified as an ism. It's also the question of the, you know, this, this, I mean, big topic kind of social contract of art. But it also got to do with this idea how artists, you know, relate to our artists. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, you do, even if you maybe don't have a movement, but you do collaborate a lot with other artists. I mean, it's kind of uh, a mm -hmm. lot of exchange. And, mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about with whom you collaborate and how this collaboration, yeah. I mean, as such as today your collaboration with A.A. Bronze, right. that's an artist from a previous yeah. generation. Right, which is a collaboration, but I'm actually, it wasn't really even a collaboration. No. I actually didn't think there was like an art, because I actually didn't think about actually that much about that project. I actually don't think about it as a collaboration because A actually had the idea. I actually yeah. didn't actually, I'm actually not embarrassed by it, but I don't think it's like a Terence Co. project almost. Yeah. yeah, because it's like A had the idea for like the portable toilet itself. And like, like I think for like collaboration itself, It's not just like two separate things itself. And the closest I ever tried to collaborate, it was like I used to be really good friends with, with Banks. 
Violet. Yeah. Which, I'm not sure, you, you definitely know Banks Violet as well. Yeah. Who we were really good friends before, and he was the, the closest artist I've ever been with. So what have you done with him? We did, he curated me for a show called War 145 yeah. at Bottom and Di Diane. Yeah. And then we did an interview for Flash Art. Yeah. And so that's a serious interview? There was a... <laughs> there was quite a serious interview that happened here in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the end of our relationship. The interview. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I, have, I have two really good friends. Yeah. I have Banks Ballet and Douglas Gordon. Douglas Gordon? Mm -hmm. And, and that's it. And before I knew them, yeah. I didn't know anybody. And right now, we I don't know anybody. We should call Dr. Scott. We should. Yeah, and he could maybe ask you a question yeah. as part of his interview. We should. He's Wouldn't it be great? He's in, he's in Berlin right now. Yeah, he talked about his idea of a promiscuity of collaboration. Really? Yeah. yeah. Douglas has been here quite a few times. Yeah. Did you know? You didn't know I knew Douglas pretty well, huh? You didn't know I knew Douglas as my, as my, he's probably like my closest art friend. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's great. soon after my Whitney show yeah. a year ago. Can you talk about your Whitney show? Because the Whitney show was the opposite of the Zurich show, you know, or even the Vienna show, which was more like an interior complexity and you immerse and then navigate. Mm -hmm. In the Whitney show, it was this sort of very frontal, almost oh, blind. Yeah, kind of almost completely. No objects. No objects. No, the no opposite. Nothing. No, can you talk about the Whitney show? The, the Whitney show, it's my, it's my, it's my minimalist trick in there. Maybe. I think my favorite art movement is probably. Minimalism. I think so. Oh, it's a dangerous topic. Did I just reveal that? <laughs> so in the Whitney Show, can you talk about the Whitney Show? Because the Whitney Show, that's, that's the book here with mm -hmm. this, this is the Zurich and Whitney Show. Mm -hmm. Did you see my Whitney Show? Yeah, I saw it. I saw, yeah. I saw lots of your shows. Yeah, I saw the you Whitney did? Show and, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. But can you talk about it? The Whitney Show was more in the realm of a sort of a radical gallery gesture. It was somehow, you know, when Eve Klein had the empty gallery and then now had the full gallery. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah, and now I have the blinding gallery. Yep, so it's, the blinding gallery. Yep. Douglas, it's me. I hope you're well. Lots of love. Hello. It's a surprise. Hi, Douglas. It's Hans and Terence Co. We love you. Call us back. Bye. Call us back. He's six hours ahead. Oh, yes, a bit early. Though. He's in Berlin. Probably sleeping. No, but not Douglas. Never sleeps. Yeah. No, me and Douglas. This week we met for my, my Whitney show. How do I think about it? As, as, I, as, I, as I do our shows, I walked around in the Whitney space yeah. and walked around there and like thought like, what would I do? Because it was my first solo in New York, yeah. and, which is pretty, it's pretty scary in a sense to do a first solo and people are expecting me to do something Baroque and so. But how did it come out? 